Let's get to a top 10 list from a JL Patterson. 10 reasons why he has become pro-choice regarding uh, the hunting of lions. Here's reason number one. Although I'm personally opposed to the practice of lion hunting, I don't want to impose my moral values upon others. So if someone else wants to hunt lions, <laughs> who am I to judge? My motto is, if you don't like lion killing, then don't kill one. <laughs> That is sarcasm. Reason number two. It's clear that laws against lion hunting won't stop lion hunting. It'll only make lion hunting dangerous for the hunters because banning lion hunting will drive hunters into back jungles to seek unsafe hunting. We do not want to return to back alley hunting. Um, okay, I've, I've got an idea for this. Well, let's just do every other one, because these are just like number, th number three. Anti-choicers sit atop their moral pedestals and dictate that others shouldn't have safe and affordable access to lion hunting, proving they only care about lions and not the hunters. We've heard that, haven't we? When it's applied to lions, we go, What's the deal? That just, it's, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous, and that's exactly what sarcasm is intended to do. Point out the ridiculous nature of somebody's position. Here's number four. What's the harm? Lions are only blobs of tissue, cells, muscles, and skin. It's just like killing a cockroach. Adrian, number five, if you'd be so kind. Lion hunting should be safe, legal, and rare. But in those cases when a lion is killed, just think of all the good things that come from its death. Just think of all the research that could be done with the lion's harvested organs. Anti-choicers only care about lions, not the countless people who could benefit from the stem cell research done on the harvested lion's organs. Here is number six. Most people who are against lion hunting are not hunters themselves and therefore should have no say in this debate. So if you've never been faced with a fierce lion before, you have no right to an opinion in this matter. If you're a man, I mean, if you're, if you're not a lion hunter, here's number seven, Adrian. Allowing hunters safe and affordable access to lions liberates and empowers the hunters. For far too long they have been oppressed and I will not sit quietly while hunters Hunter wow, hun hunter phobes. <laughs> I didn't know that was a word. Yeah, it is now. Try turning the clock on hunting right back to a hundred years ago. Uh huh. <laughs> you're you're a hunter phobe. You just you just hate hunters. That's there's a war on lion hunters. Is what there is right now. This is number eight. Tax dollars should be used to fund poor lion hunters so they have the same access to lion hunting as the rich. Number nine. Lion hunting is simply the playing out of the survival of the fittest. Darwin would be proud. Who are we to interfere? Exactly. It seems to me if you're going to be consistent with your worldview, what we've got is, now I'm just being consistent for you, my progressive friend. You had an animal, Cecil, being killed by another animal who just happened to be a dentist. What's the problem? Sarcastic reason number 10. Unless anti-choicers are willing to adopt every lion in the world, then they have no right to tell others that they can't hunt them. Hoofda, as we like to say in Minnesota.